Top of the morning to everybody. Today I'm going to talk to you about delivering previews for clients so that they can look at the final product and say yay or nay or whatever or just have it. In the past I've been using a system called Hightail and I like it because I can upload quickly and send it quickly and people can send things to me very quickly and I really enjoy that system. But the problem comes when people don't have the right player software downloaded on their computer. Um, for a while, I used to encode five different formats. I used to do Windows Media Player, MPEG-4, H.264, um, Adobe Flash, and, and Real Media. And the reason I did this was because there were so many people that had so many different players that sometimes things would work, sometimes they didn't. If I just sent out one format, then I'd probably have to send out another one because somebody couldn't use the one that I sent. So for a little while, I've been doing, with Hytale, I've been sending out three formats. I've been sending out um, Windows Media, MPEG-4, and H.264. And most people have been okay with that. But every now and then, I'll still get somebody saying, hey, I can't open these files, or I'm not allowed to download the files to my computers at work, so we can't do anything with this. Can you put it on a DVD or whatever? Um, so I came across a system. Well, somebody started sending me some files via a system called Dropbox. And Dropbox has an interesting little feature to be able to preview the files. And I'll show you this. Um, I'm going to go to my Dropbox folder real quick. Hopefully it allows me to log in. Okay, so here's my Dropbox folder. And if I go into client previews, these are the ones that I upload, um, I can show something that I did. Okay, I'll show this one. And you can see, when I click on it, you can see this little thing come up like this with a little play button. And when I click play... La serie mundial de Monster Jam 16 Presentada por Bujías en GK Y traigo ustedes por Retro PCS 32 estrellas Okay, now it's not the most perfect system. You can see the compression just destroys some of the video quality. Um, and especially here at the end, a lot of people have said, Hey, I, I can't really read that. But... They can always come down here, click on these little things, and hit download, and download it to their computer. And if they have the right player software, they can they can view it. Um, but in the meantime, like look at that, look how bad the compression is. But that's okay. That's okay because I don't want anybody seeing this anyway. I don't want anyone trying to broadcast this. So by having the poor compression, it, it prevents a lot of uh, theft and things like that. I'm not too worried about it, basically is what I'm saying. Okay, so here's what I have done. I downloaded and installed the Dropbox uh, folder software uh, for Mac. And if you go to dropbox.com and you have an account, you can go in there and download this app. And it gives you access to a syncable folder. Okay, now here's mine right here. And it shows all those folders that you saw here. Okay, so I'm going to move these aside and you can see these are all the same. Everything in them is the same. So this has been synced with my computer. Now, it's huge, um, but it's been synced with my computer and if I remove something from here or if I add something to here, it will come up here once it syncs takes a little bit, but it does work. Okay, so here's what I've done. Um, I know exactly where that points, and so I have created H.264 Dropbox settings right here. And to show you what this does, um, if you go to video, it makes a high definition H.264 file at 29.97 frames per second. Um, the compression is pretty standard. If I click on this, I can show you it does 4,000 kilobits per second. 
which is fine. I can up it if I want, but I'm I'm like like I said before, I'm not worried about the compression quality so much. Um, I do want people to see it, but I I don't want them to copy it. So this kind of helps prevent that. Um, and then the other thing I do is I add a watermark, and this is also for copy protection. Um, I have a specific file that is a highly transparent logo. And if somebody tries to copy it and convert it, that transparent logo will probably get a little bit darker. So, but still, for the most part, with the compression settings the way they are, hopefully nobody's going to be silly enough to copy it anyway. Okay, and then... I have it going to this location set as Dropbox. Now let me show you my locations. This one's called Dropbox and you can see where it is. And it points to this Dropbox folder which is located in my home folder under Dropbox and then in here I have it going to client previews. Okay, And this is where I put all of my client preview files. And I go through and I clean them out, but for the most part, that's what happens. Okay, so let's say, for example, oh, the other thing I do to get this set up even faster is I go into Compressor and I go to Preferences and I set my setting, my default setting, to H.264 Dropbox and my location to Dropbox. Now remember, you can change these, these names if you want, but basically what I'm showing you is what I did for the settings and not necessarily the name that you choose. That's up to you. Okay, so by doing that, that means that if I grab anything from my spot transfers folder and I drop it in here, let's say Chapman Makita, and I drop it in here, it will put that setting and that location automatically and it will give me a file name. And I will start the batch and let it rip. Now because of the syncing aspect of Dropbox, it sometimes can process a, a lot slower than normal, it would it might be beneficial for me to have it go into a watch folder, and um, and then have that watch folder automatically transfer the files. But I'm just going to leave it this way because it's just fine for me. Okay, so now that that is completed, let's go take a look at this, and we can see that it's indexing and syncing. It says nine files remaining. Let's see it again. Now it's uploading the Chapman Machina. It gives us kind of a time frame of how many files or how much time is left. Pretty good speed there. Two seconds left. Might say that for a while. Okay, so now it's gone. It's there. All right, so it is both in my folder under client previews right here and on the web. and your client previews right here. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to share this. Now, I have a couple of restrictions that I have to be aware of. First off, I'm going to set the visibility to everybody, and I'm okay with that. Anybody that has the link can view it. Um, I don't necessarily need to have people in my group. I'm, I'm going to let everybody see it because this is for a client. Okay, I can modify it and make it so that only people with a password can view it but they'll just give the password out so I'm not too worried about it okay but I am going to add an expiration date and for the most part I usually do 14 days so since today is the fourth I will do one two weeks 18th and save the settings now rather than sending it out to 
everybody in my company. It's a lot of people. I do send it out to everybody, but I don't do it with like a distribution list or anything, at least not here. Um, so I'll put my own name. Okay. And then under my message, I have kind of a can message that I use. And I have a bunch of canned messages here. So what I'm going to do is copy this canned message if it lets me. And paste it. And it's called Chapman Machina. Okay. And then I will hit send. And that sends it to me. And that's what I want. I don't think this thing is done yet. Okay, so I just received an email. Here's my email. And this is what I get. Okay, and this is what it's going to look like. Um, and if I click view video, it will take me to the Dropbox link just like this and if I'm not logged in in this case I'm not logged in I still have the option to download it directly but I can view it oh, man that looks awful it's great I love it $51. Usted también puede ser ganador. Chapman Value Center les trae la máquina del dinero sábado 28 de marzo en el 3470 Boulder Highway, cerca a Sahara. Chapman Value Center te brinda la oportunidad de ganar dinero. En el... Okay, so that's what it looks like when you view it. And then if you download it, it will go into your downloads. And you can see it here. And we can also see that it's going to be 15 megabit, megabytes, so even though the compression is pretty good, it's still going to be a decently sized file. Okay, I'm going to go over to my downloads here and toss it. Oh, I think it, I think it removed it. Cool. All right, so that's, that's how it is. That's how it works. Um, and then what I do from here is, on this one, I would uh, reply all and and I know I'm not going to worry about that. I would reply all, remove all this header stuff, and paste this in here. This is just my thing. I do this. And I put that in there. And then in their mailboxes on each, of, each individual machine, they have it filtered so that when they receive something that says this, it goes into a certain mailbox. And um, that way it doesn't annoy them all the time. And they can kind of go through and figure out the things that they like and that they want to keep. All right. And then the two, of course, is someone from my address book that I would put in um, on my Mac. Unfortunately, my Mac is kind of my, – my outlook on my Mac is kind of dead. So uh, – I have to use this. So I would have to type in every single person's name or I would use one of the distribution lists that are built into our our domain. But I'm not going to do that right now. And I'm not going to send that out anyway. Okay. So that's how I use Dropbox. I really like it. Um, I think it works for what we need. And, um, and it works for the clients because they can view it right out of their web browser. Uh, for the most part, everybody's been very happy with it. I haven't heard any complaints other than, hey, it looks kind of kind of compressed and doesn't look very clean. But when I let them know that that's intentional and that's okay, um, that it's not going to look like that on the TV, then they're okay with it. All right. So that's all I have for you tonight. All right. Thank you very much for watching.